We have children across Africa taking memorizing boring subjects that will not matter for them in their livelihood or in their job search for 12 years. This is a waste of intellectual capacity. That has to change. But how do we do that? We need to change curricula. We can't be operating in this 21st century technology economy and drawing on 1960 curricula for our schools. That has to change. This is what we mean by investment in human capital. The quality of teachers, the, the so I make this case because a lot of the money we get in the official development assistance comes goes to the social sector. In, economic infrastructure has received about 20% over the last 50 years. The social sector has gotten 40%, twice that. But what is the return on that investment? That's the question we're asking. Even though we're spending more money on health and education, even more though we invest more money there, what is the commensurate return we see such that we have better teachers, we have students who are able to read at grade level, I mean, we have students who, are, who have got strong mathematically, who can then go and develop the engineering profiles and develop the jobs that matter for the population transition that we see. Unless we do this policy shift, we're not going to see human capital transformation. We can't. And so I would expect a strong recommendation coming from these deliberations. For the ministries of education, beginning with my own ministry, that we, we expect to see something changing.